Hey, my name is Miss Scarlett Tanager, and I will indeed be playing the best From Software game ever. No, it is not Bloodborne, no, it is not Dark Souls, nor is it Demon Souls. It is a game that hardly anybody has ever heard of. It is Kuan. Um, joining me today on the couch is... Uh, I'm Nick Dysis. Uh, I did Dead Rising earlier, and I'm surprised Yang got sniped last second. I was ready to help out with Yin, and now I'm a bit more lost. Yes, because Ekdysis has also speedrun this game a touch, but he's only really speedrun Yen phase. And also technically on the couch with me is Bunnies directly behind me. If you see them running around in the webcam, their names are Garrus and Tally. I consider them my couch every day. So, the first thing that you need to make sure that you do know when you play Kuon, or if you ever watch Kuon, is turn vibration off. Ling uh, uh, language is up to you. I normally play it in Japanese just because I've played it so long and it's sort of good for a Change of pace, it doesn't actually affect the speed. But, okay, one, one last, one last little check. We're playing Yang phase. I'm just triple yes. checking, making sure there's not a double, triple reverse snipe. <laughs> and yes, we are in the Yang phase. That one with $1,600. We raised almost three grand just for that uh, wow. versus. Thank you so much for that. It was like 800 last time I looked at it. Okay, so the difference between the, the phases is sort of... Um, like the difference between playing Jill or Chris in Resident Evil 1. So we're going to be playing as Young Faze, playing as the character Sakuya. Ignore all of these. They are New Game Plus stuff. And time will start as soon as I finish the brightness screen. And start. So one thing to keep in mind about uh, Kuan is that they put the run button on circle instead of square like a lot of PS2 horror games. So I actually hold the controller on the PS3. I'm paying, playing this on a PS3. I hold it strangely. I hold it cur the normal way in my left hand, but I hold it like this with my other hand. All right. So the story of Kuon. This is a game that hardly anybody has played, judging from the only a few runs of this game being on speedrun.com. Because if you go look up the price of this game on eBay, it's a uh, touch expensive. Just a bit. Just a bit. Uh, you got yours through mail, didn't you, Ak? Right. Uh, I also got a Japanese copy. I think uh, North American copies of this game are considered the most expensive PS2 game of all time right now. Yep. They go for between $800 and a grand on eBay. I got mine for about $595, so relatively cheap. <laughs> relatively. Relatively. So the Yang phase is definitely the slightly riskier of the phases. All right, didn't actually accidentally mess that up there. So sometimes if you button mash too hard there, you'll accidentally go through the door and it loses you about mm, 10, 15 seconds. I've done it a lot on accident. So as for the story of this, of the two main phases, yin and yang phase, yang phase makes more sense, but yin phase is the one that the developers probably assume that you're going to play first because yang phase fills in some of the uh, holes of yin phase in the story because <laughs> yin phase has a lot of holes. All right. Just going to... There we go. Okay. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> it's all good. All right. I, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. That was very rude of you. Please don't. So sometimes you can get around that enemy without getting hit. I only manage it about 25% mm, of the time without getting hit. So one thing that can make this game a little bit difficult to run is that you have to keep the circle button depressed for almost the entire run through. Because From Software and their infinite wisdom decided that they would institute a sort of stamina system in this game. And I'm just gonna take care of this guy before I finish that explanation. Uh-oh. Can you not? Thank you. Uh, sir. Sir. Please. Sir. It should also be mentioned right now that in terms of combat, you may be saying every time this Scarlet's casting a fireball here, she's using a valuable resource because the spells are attached to cards, which you have to find in the map, kind of like how you would find bullets and a gun. Um, if she does not have these cards, I think you only get, like, a knife that is really difficult to actually hit anything with. Yeah, in Yang phase, it's a fan. In um, Yin phase, it is a knife. 
Now I'm going to pick up some more ammunition here is, is a safety. There we go. You can upgrade the weapons um, a little bit later on, but we never actually use them ideally in the run unless you have really messed things up and hopefully I don't. <laughs> hopefully not. Although but. hopefully that's not gonna be a curse for later. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it could be a curse that I end up world recording here. Yeah, you never know. You know, knock on wood. And as um, a well going back into the spells, uh, while we saw the fireball, I know later we get some other ones. Like right now we have the, I think that's the spider one equipped. I know there's like a wolf. And uh, it's going to be a fun combination of these weapons that Miss Carl will be using for the various uh, fights and boss fights because they, we do get some boss fights in this run, I believe. Yes. Um, Yin phase only has two, but Yang phase has three boss fights plus a bit more um, force combat than Yin phase does, which is why it is the more difficult of the two by far. <laughs> All right. Okay, an interesting thing to note about region differences in this game is technically the PAL version of the game is the fastest version to play. I'm playing the NTSC version. This puzzle here is missing. Two, three, four, six, three, four, five. And essentially it sort of works like a combination lock. But the reason that, uh, excuse you, sir, the reason that technically the PAL version is faster is just because it lacks that puzzle and you can go straight into that room. It's not even locked. Although uh, I think the downside of that is just the, the sheer fact that not only would you need the PAL version, I, I think you would need a PAL PS, uh, PS3 <laughs> that yeah. works in PS2 games. Yeah, you would need a PAL PS3. Um, and that's the reason why on emulator, which is where most of the runs on the leaderboards are, are on the emulator category for this game because of the cost reason. Um, they're all on PAL because on emulator it's definitively faster. We've had nobody who's actually proven whether or not it is actually faster on console because there are no PAL console runs. The one run that is listed as PAL isn't actually on PAL, it was a mistake. All right, so here's the little run thing. You saw that Sakuya stopped running there. Why did she stop running even though I had depressed the button? Well, there was a split second where I wasn't depressing the button enough, and so Sakuya just decided she didn't want to run for a hot minute. So that is what From Software did with the stamina system in this game. If you've been running for too long, or you have been injured in running for too long, and you let go of the run button, Sakuya just decides she doesn't want to run anymore. And it can lose you a few seconds every time it happens because it actually disables the run button for that set amount of time. Which is mildly annoying because sometimes it's difficult to gouge what will and will not disable the run button. So in order to prevent that, I have my hand depressing the run button for most of the run. <laughs> As well, for uh, context here, the solution to the issue here would be either one, you have to heal with the limited herbals, medicines, as uh, I think we have two in the inventory right there. Or I think the meditating system at least helps a bit with the at least panic, but I don't think that totally helps. It's the vertigo system. Like, so yes. you're seeing the screens getting blurry and um, one of the area, uh, one of the solutions to that is meditating. But since it takes a while to meditate, the medicines will always be faster. Yes, this is true. So this game can be really easy to learn, but really difficult to master because of that. Um, now coming up here is one of the only real instances of a glitch in Kuon. I'm going to not trigger it because it can cost you 10 to 15 seconds if you trigger it. Now it's for this puzzle here. What you need to do is not go through the... Okay, you have to wait a half second before you go through the tutorial. Okay, I didn't. So for some reason, if you go through the tutorial for that puzzle fast enough, it doesn't actually proc the start of the puzzle. I might not be close enough. Oh no, I wasn't. Cool. Which is rather annoying because sometimes you can't really tell if you have waited long enough and the longer you wait, of course, that's slow and we don't like slow. All right, 
cool. So essentially what we're doing right now is we're trying to collect a bunch of nails and a bunch of emblems in order to activate a puzzle that we haven't even seen yet because we aren't at the part where we get to see that puzzle. This game's also really picky with what you actually need to do before you can do anything. Um, I know, like, uh, for example, in the yin phase, I think you have to, like, talk to a certain character. If you don't ever talk to him, the, the game just won't spawn in the event triggers, so you can't even get out of the intro. Yeah, that's, um, you saw me earlier pick up a item called Dochin's, um, Dochin's Writings. The only reason I picked that up is because it was the event trigger for something else. It does that a few times in this game. Now I'm going to cast a spell there just to time this correctly because you push... He grabs you, you push him off, no damage taken, and you go straight past him. Now that guy might be a headache later. Hopefully not, because I didn't kill him. <laughs> Ideally, if you're going for a safe strat, you would sit there and you would do five attacks to um, kill him, but the faster strat is to go by him. The downside is you have to go by there in Yang phase two or three times, so we're going to have to go past him each time. And the last time, I will probably have to kill him unless we get lucky. Alright. That woke up a ghost. We don't like him, so we're gonna run away. Now, for some reason, even though we came to that ghost from the other side, uh, Sakuya here couldn't just pick up the iron wedge. No, she had to go all the way around the other side to pick it up instead of just reaching across the body. Like you do. Well, that wasn't very nice. Oh, right. Need to actually use the thing that I picked up. All right. So you can see I let go of the run button for a half second, so Sakuya decided she didn't want to run for a half second. All right, here we are going to sort of shimmy in behind this guy's hitbox and get through the door before he turns around. Now, there's a little bit of that you can do in this game, manipulating enemy hitboxes to get behind them when you're not supposed to. You only use it a couple times, though, so it's fine. We're going to summon a spider and take care of these enemies. Now, most of the enemies in this game are either ghosts, which are pretty obvious in how they look, but... Okay, and he's dead. Those enemies are called Gaki, and I think during Neo, they also have enemies called Gaki in that game as well. So, Ek, when are you going to play uh, Yang Phase? Yang Phase seems uh, so much harder. Um, one of my issues is that I only have the Japanese copy, so being able to uh, read what I need to do has been a bit tough because I don't speak Japanese. And that then the game as well is just... <laughs> it's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. I got lucky with my copy, and even then, even then, it's, it's a touch expensive. <laughs> Definitely a fun oh, game, though. Oh, no, uh, oh, no, 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 oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 I forgot to do something. <laughs> I say, it's safe, you made it past him, made it past him. Yeah, this is fine, this is fine. See, that's what happens when you've been, um, spending all day practicing yin phase, and I lost Okay, we're fine, this is fine. Although I should mention uh, one of the upsides for uh, anyone this who's watching this. This might not be fine. This. Okay, this is fine. Oh, wait. <laughs> nope, it's fine. It's fine. I had an extra healing item. There we go. Um, but one of the upsides is a lot of the puzzles do overlap. So um, eventually at some point, a lot of, like I noticed right here, um, you're going to be doing a lot of the same puzzles, a lot of the same answers, uh, just with a different character. And uh, realistically, it just... Young is a lot more aggressive, so you're going to be dealing with the enemies. You're going to be having to fight more. And that's really the primary difference. Oh. All right, this is an interesting thing to do. So here, I'm actually letting go of the run button for half a second. Now, one thing that you learn in Kuon is how to sort of fake out the enemy AI. There are some things that you can do to 
get them to jump at you instead of run at you or attack you, and jumping at you is always preferable because then they're not attacking you and you can get around them. So I stop a half second. Ah, oh, didn't work that time. But if you stop a half second at that pillar, sometimes the enemy next to you will decide to jump at you and then you can just run around them. It's always faster to just go around the enemies. Just like in a lot of horror games. Seems to be a thing with horror speed running, never wanting to actually do the combat and just running away from it. All right, so here's our first boss fight. And we are going to use almost entirely, now I'm just doing this as backup. Oh, oh this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, I might die here, but thankfully I do have a safety save. Okay, we're fine. So this is one of the first intended, uh, like, you can't even escape it, you have to fight it, and while, you know, some fights are optimal to fight, this one, the door will physically be locked until you beat it, because it gives you a key item. Um, the strat normally here is, one, you use uh, one of your spells to kind of, you can see it's getting stuck, it's kind of distracted. Um, I know it's one of the pets, but I don't remember which one. <laughs> the the doggo and yin phase. Paper doggo. Yeah. Paper doggo and, then, and yin phase. There we go. Okay. Used a backup right. strat there, almost whole. Oh, that was stressful. Good fight. Oh, that was a that was a bad fight. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I, good fights don't fight. As long as it's that, oh, yeah. it's dead. It's dead. It's dead. I'm gonna spend a half second healing. This is the meditate ability, and normally when I'm playing Yin or Yang phase, I never use it except for one very specific moment. So you guys get to see a rare use of the meditate ability before one specific part in the game. Now, what went wrong there was because I had to go back to grab an item that I'd accidentally um, that I'd accidentally forgot. Because I had to go back and grab that item, I had to use a healing item. So the healing item I would have used there in that fight, I didn't have. <laughs> Thankfully, I had picked up extra weapons earlier and decided. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Decided to use the more powerful. Um, Spell instead of the weaker spell, the Habari spell, which is the one I have equipped right now, which is the one I generally use during that fight. And mostly that was entirely me just thinking on my feet because I've actually never done that before. So, um, ring the meme, I guess. That's never happened before. Never done that before. But it worked. That's fine. And because of that, I got through that fight the fastest I ever have. <laughs> All right, we're going to skip this cutscene, and oh no, she's gone. Where did she go? I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure the uh, girl in the pink kimono is completely fine. What you didn't see in that cutscene, because I skipped it, because cutscenes are slow, is she is not fine. But it's okay. Everything's okay. All right, are we going to get good RNG on this one? Good placement. Good placement. Yes. Okay. So ideally, can I, yes, okay, I was able to slip by him. Sometimes that enemy decides that he wants to go um, and say hello to you closer to the corner, and that can get you sandwiched between two of the Gaki enemies, which can easily lead to a game over if you don't uh, have any healing items like, like me. Thankfully, there's um, safety heals that I'll be able to grab later, so there's that. All right, I ran straight at that guy in order to get him to jump at me instead of trying to attack me or chase me down. And we go onwards. Now we have a cutscene, and we don't watch that because we don't watch cutscenes. They're slow. Do we have time for a couple donations? Yes, we definitely do. Well, you, there's a, a lot of them related to things that are in your webcam. We have... $5 from uh, Miris Moto says, you have to pet the bunnies once the run is over. I don't think I can go on without seeing those cute cuties getting some pets. And we have Char, our very own Char Bunny gives $500 and just says, bunnies, with a big happy face and a heart emoji. So is this when I tell you I, have act I actually have chinchillas as well? Oh gosh, if you show them. We'll just get more things telling you to pet them. Yeah, that's true. And but they're in uh, they're in their home next to me, so I would have to get up and stop the speed run in order to do that. And uh, can't have that. That's slow. No, we gotta save the frames. Exactly. All right. So the 
Solution to this puzzle is put everything to the right. Um, oh, oh, that is the wrong button. Okay. But yeah, that's the, that's the solution. The, excuse me, Sakuya, I need your run, please. Thank you. The, um, actual puzzle is the, how do I phrase this? The life cycle of the Kuon spell. There we go. So the game is called Kuon, and the plot is complicated and strange. But let's just say it involves, with at least amount of spoilers possible, cannibalism, mulberry trees, and silkworms. Would you say that's really? an accurate description? Somebody who has the uh, Japanese version of the game? Yeah. Also, it's a pretty good summary of the horror block in general, in a, in a way. <laughs> this is true. Alright, I'm grabbing a spell here that I don't necessarily need to grab, but I'm grabbing it for a strategy for an upcoming boss fight. See, am I gonna get the glitch? No. Okay. Sometimes when you go through that doorway and the enemy is close enough to the doorway, he grabs you through it and it glitches him out of bounds. All right. Now, this is another example of needing to grab something because you need to trigger an event. Now, it happens three or four times. I'm grabbing that for safety and I tell it out of here. So, this particular enemy, my chat has... Uh, Decided to call Chad, so everyone say hi to Chad. He's rude. They just hit me. Chad's rude. Nobody likes Chad. Or Chad. I have lost way too many runs to Chad. <laughs> because I'll be low health going through that area on world record pace, and he'll just slap me. Oh, oh. Okay. That's what I needed. Cool. Oh, excuse me. All right. So I actually forgot to pick up a spell earlier. Um, thankfully, I do have a backup strap for the fight I was going to need that spell for. But um, that's what happens when you spend your time prepping for the wrong campaign. We talked about how you wanted to do this one, and I this worked real true. hard with chat. And they, they came through, and then I threw you off. I, It's a mixed <laughs> blessing. You know, earlier they asked me, what do you want to put? Uh, if you have any runner's choice, what do you put them towards? I said yin phase. <laughs> you did. I did. Hi, Chad. Bye, Chad. Chad, you rude. We have time for another donation or two? Yes, we have time for two before I get to the next boss fight. All right, you got it. Two or three. We have ten, $10 from a purple Ronnie. They say had to donate during this run of Kuon by my friend, Miss Scarlet Tanager. Awesome to see you at AGDQ. Wishing you all the luck for your run. This donation is made in the name of my beloved dog, Lucky, who I sadly lost on Sunday. Donation to the runner's choice. Thank you very much for that donation. And then we've got $20 from Felix the Brute. They say longtime donator, first time watcher. That's how this works, right? Let's kick cancer to the curb and make it a thing of the past. Thank you so much, Felix. And then Summon Spider gives $20 and say, oh, I see. So you guys are raising all this money to buy one complete inbox copy of Kuon. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. All right. Okay. I was waiting for that guy to reach um, reach right behind me, and I go to that specific candle to do so, because those en enemies, the worm enemies, they are rude. Um, they have an attack that you just saw where they sort of, I don't know, fart out purple mist, purple red mist. And that attack, unless you're at full health, can one-shot you. So I have to be very, very careful around them. Also, time for a boss fight. All right, so I'm going to equip a summon spell. There it is. Immediately, oh, I forgot to equip the other spell, okay. Equip the ice spell, immediately use the ice, and immediately summon. Now, ideally, 
That's all we have to do in the fight. Though usually you have to resummon the um, summon at least once, sometimes more. Because we want to save some of our spells. If you can get the enemy to the side or get your summon to the side of the enemy, this happens. Uh, she's stun locked. At least for a little bit. Come on, come on, spell, spell, spell. There we go. Cool. It's gonna take three, which is not ideal. Um, don't take four. Yes. Okay. And done. Good fight. Yeah. Too bad I forgot the spell, the other spell that I needed. I'm gonna have to go on a backup strat on the last boss in the game. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. This it is should fine. be fine. Hi, Chad. Leave me alone, please. All right, you're gonna have time for, God, like three or four donations right now because we have to backtrack all the way back to the mansion towards the beginning of the game. All right, and well, there's nothing between there in. and there. So have at until I tell you to stop. <laughs> well, there's not nothing. There's all these donations. We've got $250 from the Ikea boy. They say longtime watcher and my first time donating. Good luck, Miss Scarlet Tanager. Thank you so much for that generous donation. And we've got McClunky Culkin with $25. They say, I'm a simple person. I see bunnies. I donate. Also, let's get that Sonic cosplay incentive. And they're, of course, talking about the incentive to have, I believe, Lizstar dress up as Sonic during their run. So we got to see that, right? And then I've got $25 from Dr. Puppers. They say, much love as a first GDQ live watcher and much love as my mom is currently undergoing treatment. Keep up the good work, guys. Thank you so much, Dr. Puppers, and best of luck with your mother on her treatment. Keep going. Okay, <laughs> we've got, got a ways 70. To go. Yeah, great, perfect. Uh, we've got $75 from Kanban Mayo. They say, so glad I can catch GDQ in full this year and super hype for the rest of this horror block. Let's make cancer a distant memory. Thank you so much for that. I have a very unsettling donation for $50 from the monster under your bed. They say, no reason to be scared. I'm with you, so you are not alone. Thank you for that super creepy donation during the horror block. It's very on brand. I appreciate that. Keep going. You got <laughs> it's, it. We've it's a got long a, backtrack. <laughs> we are backtracking. We've got $100 from Simply Steve, and they say one more game, one more game, one more game. Let's get that Rocket League bonus game. And that is right. We are working to unlock Rocket League as our next bonus game. That's a $100,000 target, so make sure we're getting our donations in for that. So the got... current look of my character right now, uh, sorry to interrupt you, the current look of You're my character fine. means I'm one hit from death because I accidentally got hit again. So I'm just going to chill in this exact spot and heal because if I go any further forward than this, then an enemy's going to jump out of the woods and attack me. So good thing to know not to go any further than this if you need to heal. Okay, you can keep going. Okay, good job healing. Nice catch. We've got $250 from CX. They say, almost missed the tail end of the horror block. CX, you made it. We're glad to have you here for it. And we've got $100 from Ollie. They say, first time donation and long time watcher. Forget the pun the bunnies, pet Chad. <laughs> I don't think you should pet Chad. Chad is um, a prickly sort of fellow. So now we are going into a section that doesn't actually appear in the yin phase at all. So we are meeting up with Utsuki, who is the uh, player character in the yin phase, her sister Kureha, and Sakuya, the character we're playing as right now, is brother. They seem all chummy. They seem completely fine. If you've ever played yin phase before, you know sir, there's something very, very, very wrong with Utsuki's sister. And trust me when I say, she's not somebody you want to be around if you can help it. <laughs> all right. So for some reason, Sakuya gets um, far behind all of the others, even though the others are walking and I'm running. So we see a mysterious figure with a red, red uh, kimono and yukata. And we're like, oh, that must be Utsuki. 
That's totally Utsuki. Let's go, let's go chase after her, right? Because we're supposed to be following her. Totally Utsuki, let's go say hi. Hi Utsuki, how you doing? How you doing Utsuki? Oh wait, that's not Utsuki, that's uh, Forgus. <laughs> oh, that hasn't happened before. I've oh, never gotten there grabbed there. <laughs> yeah. I've never gotten grabbed there before. I've gotten hit, but I've never grabbed. That's good, that means I didn't get uh, injured. All right. Now, since it was just a spooky times, the vertigo goes away if you've been uh, jump scared by the game. The only time you have to worry is if it is vertigo caused by damage, because vertigo, which is the wibble wobble screen effect, caused by, um, oh, I have not gotten hit there in a hot minute. Caused by um, damage means you are one hit from death. If it is caused by a spooky event, that just means you have to walk it off. All right, we just skip a cutscene there of Utsuki saying, oh no, the rope ladder fell. I need you to go get a mallet. So I'm going to focus on this part because this part has an instant kill. I do not want to go into that building there just yet. I want to look in the window, look to the side, see there's a massive enemy there that I'm sure is fine, and then heal. This is the only time that normally I would use meditate because it's a free heal because you have to wait. I'm gonna pick this up for safety and we're gonna wait. Do not go through that door until you see to the left, Mr. Monkey Man. You wanna pick up the mallet? Pick up this spell specifically and leave. If you go into that room while he's still in there, um, you get served a lovely cutscene where you die instantly. <sighs> so you do have to wait there. And I'm also going to focus here because we're about to have a boss fight against that massive uh, monkey creature. Okay, wait. Oh, that's never happened before. Can you not, dude? Okay. Two. Again. Okay. Wibble wobble vision, and I picked up some healing items earlier. I'm gonna wait. One more. Okay, cool. So the reason why I needed to focus there is you, the enemies in this game, specifically the bosses, have a very, very high um, amount of invincibility frames if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> and because of that, it can be very, very difficult to tell when you can and when you cannot actually hit the enemies. So I had to wait until the um, fire animation of him sort of trying to bat the fires out goes away in order to cast the spell in order for both of the little projectiles from the spell to actually hit him. And if you get all four of them to connect, you don't have to worry about wasting any other spells. And you're good. Now we're just skipping a bunch of cutscenes. And look, they're just gonna chill there by that tree, all three of them, and they're just gonna, they're just gonna be fine. Sakuya's brother is flirting with Utsuki's sister. They're just, they're just gonna have a fun time. Nothing bad's gonna happen. All right, so you're gonna stick to the right here because you wanna try and get that enemy sort of caught against that uh, pole in order to stop him from attacking you. Because if they attack you on the um, stairs, because you go pretty slowly up and down stairs, it can be rather annoying. <laughs> so we probably have time for uh, mm, two or three donations right now. All right, you got it. I, first off, I made a big boo-boo. I said that it was Liz as the Sonic cosplay. It is Argicus cosplay, and I have been corrected very wonderfully in very wonderful ways. So we've got a $10 from Mother Leopard. They say, Argic cosplaying as Sonic? Let's go. And I say, oh, yes. We've got $5.40 from Prometheus. They say, why did you have to mention the Sonic cosplay? Of course I need to donate to see Argic dress up properly. He is Sonic, after all. Shoutouts to the Sonic with the screaming Argic inside. Thank you so much for those. And I've got $5 from Lena Beckworm. They say, so if enough people donate, will you pet the chinchillas after the run? I want to see the pets get pets. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, what, what cost should we have be show off and pet chinchillas? I mean, honestly, petting chinchillas is priceless. I'd have to check what their actual number should be. 
I mean, that, that What a great true. incentive, though. <laughs> I will totally show off rabbits and chinchillas for a price yet to be determined. So this cutscene here that we skipped was um, our lovely brother and uh, Kureha, Utsuki's sister, and Utsuki were totally just having a party by that tree. Nothing bad happened. Kureha totally didn't just um, uh, take care of both of them, let's say. And you will see the after effects of that after the boss fight that's coming up in a second here, which is the boss fight that I don't have the proper spells for because I forgot to pick some up. We'll have to improvise. But thankfully, yeah, I am going to have to improvise. Thankfully, I do have a backup strap for it. Oh, right. I have to go the other way. <laughs> Again, if this was Yen phase, I would have gone straight up there, but I have to go down here. So ideally, you would have enough of the um, ice magic in order to just take this enemy out. But I do not. So we're going to have to make do with some of the fire spells. Thankfully, I picked up extra healing items. So... There he goes. Okay. Now that is a backup strat. If I had actually correctly picked up the um, spell that I meant to earlier, uh, I would have just been able to completely stun lock that enemy into oblivion, but I couldn't do that, so it is what it is. It should also be mentioned that the stun locking isn't exactly just going to be pushing the button, you know, like just mashing the button. I, if I remember correctly, it's a rather rhythmic process where you want to make sure you're not mashing it or also start wasting spells. Because as Miss Girl mentioned earlier, a lot of these enemies have invulnerability frames and they'll try to just juke the hit or you can't double up on the hit. So you have to make sure, like, once the fire is out, you hit again. That is the one exception. That is the one fight, the one, um, Spell that you can just spam um, because of the way that it unlocks the enemy. You can actually just the second the spell um, comes off cooldown, you can use it again. Um, All right. But literally every other situation in the game, Ecdysis is right, <laughs> which is why I'm kicking myself for forgetting that particular item. So remember how I mentioned that Utsuki's sister just uh, revealed her true evil colors and took care of two of the other characters. Yeah, there's a trail of flesh, fresh blood going to a creepy little coffin. Guess what? Skip the cutscene. And uh, Kareha decided she wanted to merge together with my dead brother. Yeah, we're just gonna run away from that. It's. Technically, it is a boss, but you can just run away from it. You don't have to actually do the boss. But from now on, there is going to be a couple rooms in this game where we are going to have creepy, creepy sister Korea chasing us, which is wonderful. Weirdly enough, that never happens during Yin phase when you're playing as the sister, but it does happen twice in uh, Yang phase. All right, I got time for one donation right now. All right, you got it. This is $10 from Fallen Star. They say someone has to ask, do the bunnies make good jumps? They do. There's a reason why I have to have a bed that's raised off the floor. Uh, Tally, one of them, loves to jump on my head at night. Also, hi, Kareha. Huh? She's just standing there being, being, a, being a sport. That's totally not going to bite us in the rear in a minute here when we come back through this area. All right, and now we have some fish friends. We don't like these fish friends though, so we're just gonna go away. All right, and sadly, once we go through this area, I'm going to immediately head down and then to the side. For some reason, that causes Kureha there, who's just trying to give us a hug, 
to come straight at me and not actually attack me. I don't know why. It's just something I've consistently been able to uh, figure out to get past there. In fact, I don't think I've ever actually been hit by that enemy, so who knows how much damage it's supposed to do. <laughs> I sure don't. And yeah, we don't want to find out. Yeah, part of me kind of wonders if it's either an instant kill or an almost instant kill if she grabs you. Because <laughs> that would be sort of the thing for this game to throw at you. All right, so we're going to skip these cutscenes. And I'm going to take my hand off of the run button. If you run any point in this room when you're playing um, Yang Phase specifically, you will get a vertigo event that is almost an instant kill. It's not quite an instant kill. I have gotten through it before, but it summons approximately 20 ghosts right up in your grill. So because of that, I just completely remove my hand from the controller so I don't accidentally run. So, Miss Scarlet. Hmm. Would you say that this is the Dark Souls of horror games? <laughs> I would indeed say it is the Dark Souls of horror games. It's so much the Dark Souls of horror games that it was made by the same people. <laughs> That's true. It is It is literally the Dark Souls of horror games because it was made by the same people who made Dark Souls. All right, so we are actually getting relatively close to the end. There is only a couple little bits left. Now we are going through an underground quote-unquote nursery. So part of the story of this game is that they are trying to create an immortal person through the Kuan spell. And part of the Kuan spell involves taking somebody who is dead and putting them in a wicker basket. Um, alongside, I think it's a silkworm or something. And they go into the wicker basket with progressively larger and larger creatures until you, until you start putting them in the wicker basket with people, which is where the cannibalism comes in. Now, Sakuya, thankfully, has never gone into a wicker basket. Sakuya has never died. However, some other characters, namely Kureha, the sister who's been chasing us around, has. And she really, 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 really wants a Sakuya sandwich right now, you guys. Just really wants a Sakuya sandwich. And we don't want that, so we're going to run away from her every time we see her. Now this area can be a little dangerous, so I'm gonna get close to this guy, but not too close. There we go, perfect. Um, I'm trying to bait him into going forward, but if I get too close to him, he'll use that um, fart magic spell thing that can be very dangerous. So you get close enough to him to force him to run forward, but not so close that he attacks you because you don't actually have enough room to run around in that area. All right. Now, I got time for one donation. All right, I've got $25 from Blorkinator. They say Cursed Sanic Argic cosplay is the only way to enjoy Sonic content. And that is definitely been put towards making Argic cosplay a Sonic. We're at a $6,400 out of 10,000. Make sure we get that in and get that closed out as soon as we can. I'm going, I'm a little bit quiet right now because um, I'm realizing based off of my timer. <sighs> okay, I, I'm, I'm not gonna jinx this, I'm not gonna say it yet. <sighs> okay, now I think that I'm maybe good to say it. Yeah, I'm on world record pace. <laughs> hey. You know, no pressure. <laughs> All right, so this cutscene. Yeah, Kureha caught up with us. We're just going to run away from her. And the game decided, now time's coming up, time's coming up right at the end of this area as soon as it starts to fade to black. So time, it decided to come, or have us go through this area, and time. <laughs> I started to get away from myself a little there. GG. But it's decided to give you one last little, oh, is it going to get you, by sending you back to the area that you were before with a worm in it. So even if you ran away from Kureha and everything else, one last little potential bad. So this is Utsuki. She, she's been having worse times. And this is when you find out that she also needs to merge with a human. Because she, in fact, at some point during Yin phase, which we didn't play, dies. And she is now a zombie. Now, can I get what the time, final time on your guys' end is? The time that I see here is 4209. <laughs> you got it, didn't you? 
Like, I got it by like 40 seconds. <laughs> All right, GG. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm already the world record, so it's technically just like a PB beating it, but oh my god. <laughs> I am I am shaking. Okay, let's. Uh, you you guys said you guys would get to see a see a chinchilla, so I think world record deserves a chinchilla. Come here, friendo. I know, I know, little boy. All right. So this is now the world record chinchilla. He is very cute. Oh. So yeah, I want to say thank you to the to the man who sold me this for less than what it normally goes on eBay. And thank you to my pets for ruining world records, but in this case, not ruining a world record and being very, very nice. And I would also like to say thank you to Ecdysis for joining me here and <laughs> covering for me when I got a little bit nervous at times. Thank you for having me. Um, and... Yeah, that's this Kuan Yang Fei's world record. Just achieved live at GDQ. Hey, congrats. <laughs> that's it.